Hi there, this is Aaron Sachs, National Training Manager with Samsung TechWin America. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the SNF7010 and SNF7010V 3 megapixel fisheye cameras. In the box, we have the T20 tamper drill bit in L wrench. We have three screws for installing the camera directly onto a wall or ceiling and three plastic anchors. We also have three screws here that are used if you're attaching the camera to a junction box. The camera comes with a very nice plate um, and it tells you on the plate what boxes and which holes to use uh, and there's the cable um, access as well. This plate you'll use those three small screws to attach to these holes one, two, and three. The other holes will meet up to the different boxes that you use. The camera comes with a mounting template. This is used if the camera is going directly to the ceiling or wall and not using the plate to go to a junction box. The camera also has the manual on CD and the smart viewer software on CD. Comes with the warranty card and a network camera quick setup guide. The camera itself, all the cables are attached. We have our audio input and output. We have power connector with a removable uh, connector there. And then we have the network jack, the RJ45, um, which also can do PoE for both cameras, uh, indoor or outdoor. The camera, the three screws remove the top cover. We then have th three screws to mount the camera directly to a wall or ceiling. If we're going to the mounting plate, you'll see there's the mount, there's the mounting plate already attached to the camera. So those are the two pieces attached there. We have the SD. XC memory card micro format card that goes in there. We have a reset button right here. If we need to factory default the camera, while the camera is powered up, you push and hold that for three seconds. The indoor model of this camera will also have a microphone and there'll be a, a spot on the case for the microphone to go through as well. And then lastly, the camera has a rotation so you can adjust which direction is looking up depending on how the camera is installed. And then in case the camera needs to be focused, we can adjust this um, inner ring for focus. So inner ring for focus, outer ring for rotation. And then there's an arrow showing you which way is up for a normal, normal operation of the camera. For the outdoor model, there's also a rubber gasket here that you want to make sure stays intact when you put the dome cover on. Lastly, it's a little hard to see here, but there's a removable side cable access port that has a screw that comes out and you can then remove it to, for the cable to come out the side. Typically that's if you're not using the junction box mounting plate. 